What's going on, everybody? My name's Tyler. This is Sean. We're Rendered Reality. This is Coffee and VR, your weekly VR podcast. A little bit later today, we had uh, some mic issues that we had all worked out last night, and then we got to go live this morning, and it's all messed up. But we yes. are in the same uh, space <sighs> this time. Usually, we're about 500 miles apart, and today we're in the same space, so it's going to change things up a little bit. We had a whole new setup, and uh, hopefully we're coming through okay. Let us know uh, in the chat. Yeah, if we've got uh, any we echoes or anything weird like that, we do apologize for this episode. It's usually not like that. Uh, but yeah, we have so many different mic input. We should take some pictures of this when we're <laughs> Maybe done we will because it's, it's nuts. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, starting off, let's go ahead and give away a code because we're late. Uh, this is courtesy of Mall Magician uh, down the rabbit hole Oculus code. This is not a gift code, I don't believe. So this is just a regular uh, code. That's uh, thanks to him for giving us that and uh, apologies for us being a little late. So uh, how's it sound? How are people? Echo? Yeah, exactly. Let us know. If Question we do mark. Have any Does that mean there is a echo is there or an echo? is there? Does that mean they don't hear an echo? I don't know. Either no. way. Yeah. At least we're here. At least we uh, should be good to go. But some some pretty crazy stuff this week as far as... Uh, hey, don't yell either. We're together. I can hear you. I know, but I can't hear myself. I know. Because I have headphones on like I, I normally do. It's awesome. Uh, so I'll try not to yell. But uh, Facebook did contact us. They are going to be testing some ads in our yes. show today, uh, just like they're going to be in it's, VR. It sucks. They're just forcing on everybody. I yeah, mean, pretty it's much. How it goes, yeah, I don't know what we can do about it. So yeah. if you see some ads in today's show pop up, that, that may be why Oculus is just running some tests. So we're going to get into a kind of deeper discussion a little bit later about what ads in VR is going to look yeah, like, I mean, what we can potentially, maybe, possibly not do anything, but maybe try to get rid of them. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, ultimately, know. Facebook is an advertising company. Yep. But we will get into that in a little bit, as well as in... Oh, dude incredibly crazy launch with Larson Ox this week. Can't wait to talk about yeah, some of that. What were you going to say? Ben Deleuze said he uh, got overexcited and drank all of his coffee. That's okay, yeah. man. Um, there's always more coffee out there. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. We drank way too <laughs> much today. It's a problem. Yeah, we but, did have some uh, We kind of had to because last night, because we were together, the problem is, is we play VR way too late. Yeah. As always, um, it was a struggle for us kind of to get going this morning. But oh, the super chats still go. come through on hey. here too. We're on a completely different setup. So TV. Cheers. Yeah, Tony. Cheers, Digital. Tony. Good morning, guys. Glad to see you kicking it in the same space. So yep. that is pretty sweet. Tyler can actually pour me coffee when I run out, which is going to be pretty cool. Dude, uh, yeah. It's going to be crazy. It's so weird. we actually... Oh my goodness. So we played uh, quite a bit of stuff last time. We ended yep. up ultimately playing a bunch of Pop 1. But uh, we did play some Survive, and this is soon to be coming out of Early Access, I believe. And we played this on Steam, and this is four-player co-op zombie shooter game, almost a mix of Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, some elements from that, right? Some uh, feels of Arizona Sunshine sure. a little bit, because sure. with uh, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, you got melee weapons and yeah. different things like that. It is still a little bit rough. Like, it's not... It doesn't feel completely polished. It still feels a little bit rough in areas and certain things, but we had fun. We were cracking exactly. up laughing. We were That's... having a blast uh, playing in the same space in co-op mode together. It's 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 gameplay over everything, right? We say that all the time. It doesn't have to be perfect, but well, we'll talk about some of that later too, but the it doesn't <sighs> need to be perfect to be a fun game, right? You can have some stuff that's broken. You just have to have those crucial mechanics in working order. Um, you know, we were even doing stuff like throwing plates and coffee mugs in the oh, air we and shooting them. Shooting. So that shows just their server references, how fast all that is. That's amazing. Yeah. Like to see and that actually out we recorded game. some of that to show today and uh, the recording got messed up. So we weren't able to show that. But I was literally throwing rendered reality coffee mugs yeah. up in the air. So Tyler can shoot them out of the air. And it was pretty cool. Uh, Reckoner, Reckoner VR sure. said, I'll be playing yeah. Elite Dangerous and a Reverb G2 by mid next yes, week. I coming. know it has some issues, but I'm looking forward to seeing that resolution bump. So in something like Elite Dangerous, that's a great game that's to play huge, in the G2. I mean, that's, you know, you're, you're not relying on any controller tracking to you know, as a competitive shooter kind of a thing. And that's really right. the only issue that I've had with it. And it's still playable. I mean, I've played Population 1. I've played Contractors in it and everything else. And it, it's doable. It's, it's not my preferred, yeah, let's say, go-to. Yeah, it's not my preferred. Yeah. But for something like Elite that. Dangerous, something like, yeah. uh, uh, what's the uh, the big space game that he played? No Man's Sky. Something oh, yeah. like No Man's Sky. Like, I, I guess if you got the GPU and stuff to run it. But yeah, it's a beautiful looking headset. I mean, beautiful. And, and yep. even this game. Yeah. Demio, awesome game to play. Demio. And, uh, yeah, oh man, don't even start saying the right pronunciation. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's an amazing headset, and I would say is probably the best headset for Sims. And yeah. on top of it, you, there's zero screen door effect in that freaking thing. 
Like there is yeah, nothing. Yeah, you can not. study that and look for the pixels, man. And I can't hardly freaking find them. Like, yeah. And, and Sean and I kind of talked about that. You know, we had our, our late night chill session last night too. And you know, it's like I said, the headsets there, I feel like they're already like at such a high standard or a good point. Now I'm not searching for a new headset anymore. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean like things I feel can like always so improve, but I mean, what we have, I still love playing them. You know, I'm, right. I'm still looking forward to the next iteration of VR headsets, yep. but I'm still happy with what I have right now. I know. Uh, I know. Susan, always coming through. $25 Cheers. super chat. Said, good morning. More coffee, please. Better late than never. That's so, yeah, we usually try to be right on time. More. And today we were, I mean, you should have seen us right right before 11 o'clock. We oh had all the mic situation perfectly working last, last night, night when we tested Perfect. it. Yeah, yeah. And then we go to go live this morning. We did a test record and it was all janky. And we're like, this is never going to work. You guys aren't going to want to listen to this. So hopefully it's better now. <laughs> we, we have some a ridiculously crazy setup going on right now to get both of Look, these if, mics. If we ever get to the day where we have an in, like, all in-house studio for both of us, I really think we should live stream the pre-show somewhere. Like, yeah, like yeah. just completely live stream the, this uh, chaos. Because we could do that on the uh, the Patreon. We haven't. We got to sure. upload some Patreon stuff because we haven't uploaded. We've been slacking. We wanted to do that this morning, too. I know. I know. We just I run know. out of time. Every time we run out yep. of time. But uh, yeah. another game. So was, as far as Survive goes, I think it was, what, like $24, $27 or something like that? Even, was it that much? Yeah, it was remember. somewhere was around it? there. Okay. It, and it's it's a pretty good game. Like, I, I would love to play it with four people, you know, yeah. you and oh, two yeah. other people. I, I, I do want to make it clear, though, that the game is a little bit rough still, rough around the edges, but it's fun. It reminds me of the earlier days of Arizona Sunshine, oh, when sure. Arizona Sunshine was still kind of rough. Yep. You know what I mean? We had problems even hooking up, like, multiplayer back then. Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? For sure. In Arizona Sunshine. So in this, for sure. we had zero issues really linking up, just figuring the game out, yeah. you know, in the early stages. Yep. But after we figure out how to get together and all that stuff, it was a breeze. Yeah, it's a ton of fun, though. So. Like, anytime when you're doing co-op, and I think this is a, a very limited taste of what we might get from after the fall because i think that's going to be completely on another level than this survive I, I, game but it is fun i will say i hope after the fall like survive has friendly shooting because there was a point where you got trapped in a horse stall i opened the door and there were zombies in there yeah. and there was loot in there so i went in and sean we grabs up he got ammo. trapped in there and ran out of ammo and I found an all I AK. Had was an axe. Oh my gosh, dude, <laughs> yeah. it was amazing. All like, I had was an axe. Yeah, oh, I was, was trying to. I was trying to get. And out. I just start ripping all these zombies, not thinking that I could kill Sean, and I just mowed everyone down, including Sean. Yeah, so. and I don't know if you killed me, if it was just the zombies killing. Because no, it was well, mass chaos. True. I was in a cage with zombies think, all over the place. So I'm not sure which thing happened. I shot you. But uh, it's okay. did you hear about this? So first of all, we were a little bit. Uh, early last week with our show because after our show the upload vr showcase came out e3 and all that other stuff yep. oh we didn't grab that one trailer um Which one? that uh we'll talk about it. uh so but i want to talk about the newest upcoming esports game that is going to be the biggest breakthrough esports game i mean it's gonna be massive i don't even know how the vr world is going to contain this but it's nerf um, ultimate championship this right. is the next can't. right is, is this your hype this is, this, is the, is this your hype? This is the like the greatest esports game ever. Oh my gosh, I can't take it, dude. It absolutely. I mean, this this Why may be like. Don't walk off screen. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but this may end up being like uh, an Olympic sport. I, I, I think. I, yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm I, sure I, they'll do some ads in there or something. We didn't get to talk about this. Yeah, we didn't get to talk <laughs> about this last week because it came out, out after the show. But I was actually oddly excited. They show absolutely no gameplay right. in this trailer. So it, it gives is. you absolutely no idea what this game is even going to look like, feel like, be like, anything else. But it's this just little showing trailer, Nerf guns. That's all it's an animation. But it's so Nerf cool. Guns. Like, as a kid, you know, Nerf guns oh, were awesome. I know. And, and you, you never got to have enough Nerf wars with your friends, right? So True. now... In VR, you can have Nerf Wars with your friends all the time. I guess at least that's what I how I take it. You know, we don't know much information about this game at all, other than the fact that it's coming out in 2022. But the little intro looks awesome. I and love the, the colors people. of the shoes. It shows four people. Right. <clears throat> yeah. The so. takeaways. I mean, are, are decent from it. But again, we can't get excited over freaking animations. It's made by Secret thing. Location too. It's not. It, it's not like. A new developer, right. you know, that's never done anything before. So this Nerf's is, not going to sign off on somebody who hasn't done projects, right. you know, for the yeah. branding. So, but I mean, I still think this could be good because even like kids that are super into Nerf guns that want to have Nerf wars with their friends, you know, and they can all be at their separate houses. This could get more people into VR. I think. I mean, it might be a squeaker be fest in there. I don't know. It might be, but I'm I mean, totally going to play it. It's going to feel. My guess is a lot like Rec Room, probably. You know, early like laser tag Rec Room type or 
you know. Yeah. I, know, I hope it looks. We'll I know it won't, but man, I hope it looks remotely as good oh. as this trailer. Like, if we could, I know it won't because it's coming to Quest. But can yeah. you imagine, like, if it had those graphics? It Jason awesome. uh, from Wild X Studio said, "Don't need VR for that." Exactly. I want to. I want to pump yeah. and shoot somebody in the face. I don't want to. You know, you can't have that. With VR <laughs> I wonder if it's play. still gonna have like a one fifty thing. foot range. Like you shoot your dart out of this Nerf gun in VR, and it's just like pew. Oh, you know what I mean? To. Like, it would have to, or is man. it gonna have like ridiculous range? Like, oh, if it's if life. it's straight, no, no. So it's gonna be kind of like playing paintball, and, dude. Yeah, because like the snipers, right you have to arch those things, dude. Like you have to aim ten feet above somebody if they're you know hundred feet away. Right. I guess it is backwards because when I look at you, I'm looking for the opposite way. I tried to tell you earlier. I tried to tell you. But yeah, so I'm actually kind of weirdly excited about this game. I don't know why, but either way. Not as good as Uno in VR. Oh, no. Uno (laughs) is epically the greatest thing. Nerf battles. I'm not worth talking about. I know, man. The Nerf battles. So good, though. Yeah. And see, Alex makes a good point. Nerf has cultural relevance. It it does. Exactly. And we do need more of that stuff to come to VR that that bring those familiarities into like that space that people yeah. like. And that's a good thing. That's awesome. Yeah, but for yeah. sure. You're, you're... Wow. Uh, All this work's making me really hungry. What, what, McDonald's what's going... introduces super summer sizes. Oh, man, that's really? A, is that the Facebook ad? Really? Man, you're just like seriously just sitting around talking and it pops up. That's going to be like the same thing in VR. Is this, sitting around this is not what we're dealing with. Blast I'm telling out. you, this is not what we're going to deal with, man. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Uh, There's no we're freaking still going to get into that later. But no way yeah. we're doing ads. There could be some ads in this uh, in this show today. I don't know why. No, but. no. And we're going to write some reviews and get rid of them. <laughs> what we're gonna do. I don't know about that. We'll get into that. But there is. So Demio, obviously, love the love the game. Yes. Rocking the shirt. They are coming out with an update. And this, we knew this was coming. So we knew the update was coming. But we have an actual date now and stuff. And this is the, what is it? The Rat King uh the the book uh, oh the second book um, realm of the rat king realm. yeah realm of the rat king for demio because yep. right now you know we love the game but i've honestly have not played it that much lately because of the fact of i've played that first book so many times you beat it so many times this is going to change things up so much i think it's going to get i do too anybody that loves the game and hasn't been playing it for a while it's going to get them back in hopefully it's going to bring some new people into the game that haven't experienced I, it yet i just think they need to be a little tighter though with their releases like i, I know it's yeah. a good thing and i guess it sure does up. have its playability but yeah, they need to shorten it by at least a couple weeks. You know what I mean? Maybe three weeks, four, maybe a month. I don't know. Yeah, I but would like to see them closer sure. together for releases. Every two things. months or, or even once that one releases, already start teasing the next one. Yeah. So it drags you on and drags you into the keeps you keeps you going. So yeah. the, the date is June 28th. So we don't have that much longer. What's the date today? The 19th. So, you know, not long at all. A couple weeks, a little more of the week. Uh, and we'll be playing this. Definitely going to be looking to get back into this. So the people that want to play it. I know uh, Bill's fan is always wanting to play. I know there's some people in the Discord always. So I know money. Alex VR is always down to play this. So this is a game that I feel like you spend so much time in and don't realize it. Yeah, like, I feel oh, yeah, like yeah. an hour, two hours goes by like it's been 20 minutes. It's crazy. Yeah. I, I can't take it. It I mean, really does. I mean, it, it's a very... I mean, because you can spend two, like one to three hours yeah. sometimes beating a book, yeah. you know, and maybe this Rat King, Realm of the Rat King, might be an even longer book. I don't know what that's going to look true. like, you know, length wise. It could be, there could be changing up all kinds of things to make it yeah. uh, completely different. Uh, Alex said, Demio is epic. I played a couple rounds yesterday. I still love it. And the, yep. great, the game is great. It really is. So, and Slave Blade said, I wasn't <laughs> yes. even thinking of McDonald's and now I'm hungry. It actually worked. That is the power of advertising. Yes. The subliminal message. And now you want McDonald's and you want that super size me. Isn't summer that ridiculous meal. though? Isn't that that subliminal like messaging? Right. That like you see it earlier, like in a day and then later you're like, I kind of want that. It's like, so hard to not talk about the things that we want to talk about. I know. Like, We're getting there. We're getting that. there. I know. Oh man. Uh, I know. So I do want to talk a little bit about uh, a township tale because this is, everybody seems to be really excited about this. This is coming to Quest. And I was like, I know I've seen this before. I was like, so I'm like, well, I'm going to check it out on Steam. I know it's been out on PC VR for a while. And I'm like, I can't find it anywhere. Like, it's not listed anywhere. So I mentioned something on the Discord. And you actually have to go to their uh, their Discord to actually get access to right. this game on PC VR. It is free on PC VR. It's going to be paid on the Oculus Quest. Uh, but as I was asking some questions and stuff, uh, people were talking a little bit about it. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce his name. Philo Zyx. Yeah. Is that how you pronounce it? Philo. 
Philo Zayek, Philo Zix. I don't know. He said uh, he was talking about because he's actually played the PCR version. Tyler and I have not played this PCR version right. yet, but it, it definitely looks interesting. What he was kind of telling me about it seemed pretty cool. Uh, he said that it to to play the game like there's a lot of crafting aspects and stuff like that. He actually told me that sometimes to create some swords, it takes you like ten to twenty minutes to actually forge this thing sure. out. And I was like man, that's an interesting thought. Like that could be terrible or that could be something awesome because right. it, it gives you the feeling of accomplishment. And this is my sword that I had to you sure. know, forge for a long time. It wasn't uh, just click a button. You got a sword. And so I thought that was, I thought that was pretty neat. And he also told me that, and, and this could change for the Oculus quest build, but he said that when you have people around, because it's like an open world, you know, RPG, MMO, you know, kind right. of a thing. And he said that people can actually take your item. So if you spent 20 minutes forging that sword well, that and you're doing it and you're doing something and you set it down, somebody can grab that thing and run away. And I was, I said, Oh heck no. Like I just spent 20 minutes right. forging that sword. I am hunting you down sure. <laughs> to get my sword back because that would tick me off. Right. I think, I think anything that builds that like nervousness in a game of dying, losing something. Yeah. Um, that's already a player one experience sure, in the movie. You know, that was, you know, once they died in the game, they lost, lost all their of their inventory. Sure like, and yeah. that's kind of it's a good concept. Right? Yeah. Because it makes you play a different way than it would. If you, you know, right. if you always keep all your stuff, what do you care? You, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, I mean like pop one, even when like you die in pop it. one and get res, you lose all of your stuff. You're starting from scratch. So, so even, even though you can get thing, res, you still don't want to, because right. a lot of times you lose your stuff unless right. you can get back to it, depending on where you're at, yeah. you know, you can pick it back up. But no, I like that. And I like the build time. I do kind of like that. Um, I think, let's see, the forest had, you had to scavenge a lot in the forest to actually achieve yeah, certain things. And that's too. what this looks like too, because even uh, Jason said, Wild Ox Studios said, the games make my shoulders hurt, chopping the trees no. make me sweat. Like, so you're legit doing work. Sure. Yeah. And I think that is, you know, obviously these kind of games are popular, and I don't know that there's really enough of them out in the wild yet sure. in VR. There's a lot of them that are being worked on. But yeah. there's not a lot out there. Or yet. small games that don't look as polished, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, this looks too. pretty polished. I mean, it's definitely cartoon, you know, characters and oh, stuff, okay. the animations, but that's cool with me. Yeah. I mean, I think I this agree. looks pretty good. I, I'm actually kind of excited to play it. I yeah. don't know that I'll play oh, the cool. PC VR version before the Quest version comes out, but I'll definitely sure. pick up the Quest version. Yeah. I mean, if I get time, some of these, the bad thing with some of these games is these are really like a grind out kind of game. You know, right. you got to put time and effort into these games to really get where you want to be in there. You can see the forging of the sword and, axe yeah. and stuff like that, but it's just hard to always have enough time to, to put into these games. But I mean like the quests and stuff in it, I mean, it's, you see like some of the underground stuff, yeah, you know, the some of the building good. stuff. Dude. I'm guessing you got chopped down trees to build all this stuff. I think it could oh, yeah. be, this is probably going to be pretty popular. And I know, you know, when they talked about this coming to quest, everybody, you know, a lot of people were very yeah. excited. I mean, look at the amount stuff. of people they're even showing, you know, together. So even that's awesome. You yeah. Know? It's yeah. great. I, I, I think it's awesome. I mean, yeah. Good for them. They've been definitely, they had to have been working on this for a long time. I mean, yeah. it looks amazing. So yeah, I think 2016 or so this is available on PC VR. I could yeah. be wrong. I know it's been a while that it's been yeah. out on PC VR available for PC VR, which I think it's kind of weird. They never put it on steam or anything. I don't know why it's private to their discord, but right. I mean, teach their own. Whatever. Yeah, I don't awesome know their though. reasons, but I think it's kind of cool. Uh, another one that I thought was kind of neat is Bricks VR. Kind of the yeah, same principle ish. I, guess. I mean, this takes me back to the Nerf days we were just talking about. This takes me back to my Lego days. You know, as well. I mean, yeah, I guess we still do Legos. I sometimes. still buy yeah. Legos. Leave me but, alone. But like, man. I, I, I experienced Legos so much more as a kid. You know, what I mean, like that was one thing that I did all the time. Like me yeah. and my cousin would get together. We would like build these whole worlds that were like, you know, because we were into cars and motorcycles. So we would have like. Our, our jet skis, our cars, you know, right. and you build the, the parking garages for them and all that stuff. And the, the best thing about this is that it is multiplayer. Right. So if it wasn't for that, I don't know if True. I'd be too excited about even, this, yeah. but you yeah. can go into right. and build worlds together. Technically a lot like Minecraft in a sense, you know, building. Cause what I mean, that's is. one of the greatest things about Minecraft. You just go crazy building stuff. I remember back in the day on oh. Xbox, we built like a mansion in there, you know, like this, just this huge house Dude, and stuff. Yeah. It switches the wiring, the, I mean, you just the ends of the earth, you can go in Minecraft. Yeah. And this, you know, isn't going to be as complex. I mean, no, obviously no, Minecraft's no. been out for a long time now. Yeah. Uh, but I still think it's awesome. I think it's a really cool concept. Uh, I think it would be a lot of fun, especially for like kids and stuff. Yeah. Like, you or know adults. what I mean? There's nothing violent in it, at least yet. Oh, you still got a contractor's giveaway stream bot in here. But, oh, uh, do we? Yeah, it's a... I can get rid of maybe it. but maybe. uh it, it <laughs> we we do have a uh, uh Larsenots giveaway going on so we are going to talk 
dive into a little bit more to that game. But this game is launching into early access on Steam and App Lab at the end of the month, priced at $14.99. Awesome. Cheers. Yeah, thank you for that subscription. That subscribe thing. Is it a subscription? Yeah, whatever. Uh, so that'll be pretty cool. Uh, and they're talking about full release around September at the end of the year. Sure. So it's a little little wait, not that long. Yeah. But it looks good. So it does it say go uh, support is limited to just Oculus Rift and Oculus Quest headsets for now, which is kind of weird, but... Yeah, I mean, maybe they don't have other headsets to develop on either. You know what yeah. I mean? These small dev teams... They're buying a lot of their own headsets unless they sign up for all these, you know, developer programs. Yeah. So uh, it's it's hard. I mean, look how many headsets you have to once you open that box. And obviously, Quest is the most popular one. Yeah, that's where you're gonna make most of your money. Uh, but they're saying it's gonna support up to five players at once. Uh, synchronized physics, spatial voice chat, the ability to save your work. Uh, there's also 50 different bricks to choose from, and over 16 million color choices. What? Yeah, so right. you must have like a color wheel kind of a thing. You sure. know what I mean? Uh, that's pretty cool. I think this kind of stuff with multiplayer is kind of neat, you know? Yeah. No, I, I agree. Uh, we need better games, I think, for kids. Uh, we, I see people all the time ask. I think that's the biggest takeaway for me from it is that people ask all the time, like, what can my you know seven-year-old play? What can my eight-year-old play? And I start thinking, and I'm like, there's not a lot of actual games that they can yeah. dive into and play. I mean, there's a handful. I mean, really, like, on the quest that people can... Yeah. play so i don't know it's it's a good game i think for that i think we need some more complexity yeah, to send it that for... access thing again for sure you just try to send. oh sweet okay. uh i didn't see what it was but i missed it but okay. uh there it is yes it's me match the number one number is okay, um that go. number got it i got it <laughs> okay so i'm trying to give him access on the phone to uh change some uh stream live settings but uh yeah i, I think i think that one might be neat yeah. i think that one might be neat yeah, we also have a V30 update coming out here pretty soon, which I think the biggest thing from V30 update is the ability to change your chat settings. So you're sure. uh, you're you're able to go between game chat and uh, private chat and back and forth, almost kind of like what what you do on PCVR with Discord. You know, a lot of times right. you don't use the in game chat on a game when you're playing together. You use Discord instead, and it's a more private way of chatting. And, and I think that'll be kind of neat uh, to see uh, how that works, at least if it works good. Yeah. What do you think of the new update though? Like, well, this is the next update, not oh, the, the newest next, update. Next. Yeah, yeah. And I third, just, yeah. so I've had B29 for a long time, and Tyler put my headset on yesterday to try out a game. And yeah, now I got the universal menu thing, which oh, I did me. not want. And I don't know what he did. He there hit a button go. or something because it wasn't there before. And I don't like the universal menu. You have to like go into the uh, library to change settings, which I know everybody's been complaining about. Luckily, I didn't have it until now. For whatever reason, that thing just hit, and it's annoying. It's, it's, yeah, I don't know. It, it's different. I don't like, kind of how it's all laid out anymore. I don't like how they took away some of the shortcuts I like to use on it. Yeah. Um, some stuff like that. But I mean, it's it's OK. I mean, it's a nice, easy. I will say it is easy for new people coming in because that's the one thing that people can't find things sometimes. I don't like, know. I feel like it's harder, but yeah. I know. I agree. But just but you just you get to used to stuff. Yeah. yeah. So in the update as well, there's going to be uh, I mean, a lot of customization stuff. So there's. Uh, the accessibility tab, there's all kinds of stuff you can change the colors of and a bunch of stuff like that. And they're getting more into the multitasking stuff that they've been talking about for a long time. Right. This update's going to further push that uh, workspace, you know, having multiple windows open at the same time, stuff like that. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, Mash Daddy Cool says, Rendered Reality and my local coffee company, Death Wish Coffee, nothing better worth the wait. I do have some Death oh, Wish yeah. Coffee. That's, that's, the strong, that's the strong stuff, too. That's Ooh. like the ultimate caffeine. Yeah. That stuff's pretty awesome. Yeah, so, seriously. Uh, thank you for that super chat, too. That's worth awesome. Worth the wait. Thank you, man. Yeah, for that's real. awesome. Good seeing you. For wait, real. Somebody said something right before that, too. Dang it, I missed it. What's that? That's all right. In chat. I don't know. I can't see it. Oh, uh, you want me to scroll up? I can find it. <laughs> Maybe they, just do. Uh, Chats oh, oh VR Spry Guy. VR Spry Guy is trying to pick Tyler's apart coffee our, uh, our, our setup. <laughs> uh, even my water bottle is in the... Uh... Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> there mm. we go. Yeah. So do you want to talk about Larsenauts a little bit? Uh, I, I, let, uh, sure. Okay, so everybody I would that has love played, to talk about Larsenauts. Everybody that has played Larsenauts in the comments, let me know your thoughts. I know Paradise Decay is a big fan, but he is also not a big fan of Population 1. So... I know uh, Paradise Decay said before I played it, he said this is going to be my go-to game, and I don't think he was correct, <laughs> at least not at this point uh, in time. I mean, at least for me, it is definitely not my go-to game. Um, 
we kind of surmised that the release would be echoed to Solaris a little bit. And yeah. we were kind of right. I mean, yeah, unfortunately, that's not what we wanted to see happen. I think if I could sum one word up, I, I don't know if it would be janky or broke. I'm not sure because it works. So I guess I can't say it's broke, it's not but broke. It's just poor, a lot of poorly implemented. Yeah, man. Things I, going on. I, I, the decisions that they made are exactly what Solaris did. Exactly. Seriously. Yeah. Uh, well, Vraza, thank you for that super chat. He said, doing my small part. Enjoy your time together. Dude, so cheers, we, we have, man. Yeah, we, yeah, we appreciate that. We have yeah. enjoyed our time together. It's been really awesome. We don't get to hang out together in person all that much. And he was incredibly the first person to say something in chat today. I think I had the page up for a, maybe a minute or and two. He said something, and he said already, something yeah. in chat. So definitely yeah. first. So, so this footage here of Larsonauts is my first, my first time I ever went into the game. First time I ever played it. This right. is the footage. And this is before the immersive sprint update came out. So uh, we're going to talk about the roadmap a little bit. So, Please so my do. biggest gripes, let me Please get into do. some of my gripes about this is the fact that I went in there and at this time it was click to sprint, which the immersive update allows you to not have to click the stick. You can just push the stick all the way forward and sprint. Uh, okay. I am a big proponent of smooth turn and that is my preferred locomotion system. Even though playing on the quest wireless, I still don't always remember to physically turn. So I still rely on my stick turn. As soon as I went in there, I got into a game. I started sprinting. I went to turn and my turn speed was this. Oh, it's, it's bad. I'm like, what? that's no joke either. When you're running, yeah. when you're running, that is your you turn. You can't speed. turn, and it just makes you feel so limited in your movement. And I thought the immersive sprint update was going to fix that, and and it did not. And I, nobody knew what immersive sprint. We back? Check, check. I think we're back. We're back. We're back. So yeah, we have a. Uh, so how long ago did we lose chat? <laughs> Is it back? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, it's showing up in here, so we should be back. Everybody's panicking. <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, we don't know what happened. What had happened is this uh, recorder that we're using with two mics plugged into it actually shut off on us. It is battery operated. For some reason, it shut off. Are you good? You're good. Just keep going. <laughs> so let me know if you guys can hear me. It should be coming through back again now. Uh, <laughs> he said he understood the, the hand gesture. They realize now. Yep, all good. Okay. So sorry about that. Technical issues. Hopefully it doesn't shut off again on us. Uh, oh. You just unveiled the curtain. It's okay. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> so I don't know where I left off, but but we were talking about the immersive sprint update, how that didn't technically yeah. fix the issues. Let me somebody let me know uh, where you stopped being able to hear me in that discussion. But yeah. Uh, it uh. Yeah. So they they should what they ultimately should have done because there is that you know certain amount of time window when you release your when you submit your final build to Oculus, you can't change that build right. until your game is launched so what should have happened instead of them just knowing that there was an issue knowing people are going to complain about this because first impressions on a vr game oh, especially everything. a multiplayer only everything. game is a big deal we saw it with yep. solaris we saw what happened with solaris uh <laughs> and uh essentially what they should have done is they should have pushed the launch back some to get all these updates in because the community is going to be much more okay with an awesome launch that got pushed back a little bit than a launch that was on time that was 
not oh, a good build that nobody really likes. 120%. Yeah, so that, it, that the sprint is my biggest issue. You know, I can't run and turn with my sticks at the same time without moving at a creepingly low speed. That just feels really weird to me. They did a lot of other really weird things with the hands that move while you're running. Like, yeah. that's just, that's a huge disconnect, which the immersive sprint fixed that. I can't remember now. We played it with the immersive sprint update last night. Yes. Now I can't remember. So the, the hand animation isn't there when you run anymore, yeah, right? It yeah, it oh, is. it's still there? Oh, yeah, it's still there. So that is not, that feels weird to me because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm moving in VR. I know where my hands are, but my hands on screen are doing something completely different. There should be, uh, for the most part, a lock on your hands to what your controllers are doing in VR because right. you shouldn't see your hands doing something different than what your hands are actually doing. In a flat game, it makes sense because you're holding a controller. Your hands aren't so doing these weird. moments in a VR so game. Weird. And these are the devs from, uh, 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 now I can't think of the name of it, PSVR game. And, and I think part of that is the reason is that PSVR developers are coming to Quest and they're used to... That's what I was saying. Yeah, they're yeah. used to working right. with the aim controller or something like that. So you're doing yep. a reload animation, you know, just like right. these animations. The gun flips completely out of your hand, which is a big disconnect there to me. There should be no animations that aren't what you're doing unless yeah. it's a simple gun flip or something, you know, fun. That's okay. But the, it, should still, yeah, it should be one-to-one. It should be one-to-one. I feel like, like my hands should always be where my hands yeah, are. Yeah. Like, you shouldn't move my hand location from where my hand is. And that was part of the reason right. uh, with Solaris, you know, they had one, your left hand or your off hand and when that game first launched, wouldn't do anything. You couldn't move it. You could move your physical hand and that hand wouldn't move. And that felt yep. so weird to me and so many other people. I think the biggest thing far for point, me, far point. it wasn't even as much, I think the movement system for me, I just don't like. Yeah. It feels clunky when i run up to somebody to shoot them i'm like confused yeah. on what to do and don't get me wrong you can learn that by playing a game for so long yeah. so I, I get it but vr isn't like most games where you can make it whatever you want because you're in it you can't change how people move yeah. their arms move their hands the motions they do like there needs to be some base physics of real life that need to remain in vr across instead of, the board yeah instead Just of completely across. trying to change how physics yes. work because yes. it, i mean it, it just doesn't make sense to your brain. Your and, brain is in that game. As far as you're concerned, you're in that world. You're that person. And then know? the issue I find with this whole new immersive sprint is when I'm pushing forward and you push forward all the way to sprint and then you can't turn. So if all of a sudden I come up on somebody, you have to like throttle back like 50% on the sticks to keep moving forward. And then, then you turn can turn fast. full speed. Like, yeah, because it, if you're not sprinting, broke, you can yeah. turn full speed. And yeah. it's also, so once you... Uh, it's like once you, when you're full sprint and you pull your gun up before the immersive sprint update, you could run full speed, pull your gun up and nothing would happen until you stopped sprinting and right. then you could shoot, which they fixed that a little bit. It's a little bit better with the immersive sprint update, but it, it's still like when I'm in a firefight, I feel like I can't move very well. Like we went into population one after this and you know, when you're in a firefight, you're moving your body because you, you want to be a moving target. You don't yep. want to get hit. Correct. That yeah. doesn't feel as good in this game. Like I feel like I basically just have to stay there and get shoot. Away. Yeah. yeah. And that's not it, it's completely true but it's a little bit true and that's oh, how i feel yeah. and uh and also some other little complaints you know they literally give you one class to start out with which you can unlock you know you can unlock all the character classes but i prefer to have like two or three to choose from sure. right off the bat because yeah oh but i get it it's progression it gives you something know, to do there's no but you know. the only issue with that is that people are going to play this game say three months out people have all these classes yeah, unlocked they're ridiculously no good good, uh, good and a new person comes in and they have one class to choose from sure. and they're getting demolished yeah, right off right. the bat you know that's it's tough i will say the maps look great Oh, the, visually, the game, the game itself looks, good. looks incredible, yeah. but their mechanics, like yeah. just, and GS Gaming Science Teacher, she said that, you know, we need to form like a VR committee or something, like send it to us, we'll play test it and approve it. And that's well, what not these just places, us, but I mean, the, no, the community, she's saying yeah, form, yeah, yeah a like a community, but that's of, what yeah. needs to happen. Like, I agree because it's just, I feel like this could have been solved in no time by just asking for approval, asking for testers yeah. or, or however, outsourcing it, whatever needs to happen. Uh, yeah, I mean, they've done I some know. good things and I think this game has potential. My grenade throw was really bad there. <laughs> I fell off the thing. But the game has potential for as they fix it. I know they're going to do the updates, you know, but the bad thing is, is looking at the roadmap, the roadmap shows release, then immersive sprint update, <sighs> then private lobby update, you know, so it was all these things that they knew needed done right. shortly after release those things should have been done before release and then the only thing on the roadmap should have been new maps new player cat classes solaris. new skins new, Sol you know what solaris. i mean yeah i mean it, it, solaris, man. it is it's, it, it's exactly like a solaris yep. launch and i don't think i think solaris would have been an awesome game 
if you know the player base isn't there as much now, but if they would have had a better launch right off the bat, I think it would have been a completely different story. Right. You know what I mean? And right. I think that's the same thing with this. I think that this hopefully can recover. I think it's going to be a good game. They're going to fix yeah. the issues. But is it going to be too little too late? That's the problem that we run into when a game launches like this. And this game was hyped so massively. Yeah. You know, I mean, this game was what I thought was going to be maybe this is going to be the game that comes out and really competes as a multiplayer oh, game 100%. against Population yeah, yeah. 1. If I would have yeah. been Population 1, I would have been a little concerned right. watching this game before it came out thinking, man, is this going to knock down our player base? And it still I could. Know. It still could. But at this point, I don't think it is because you're still playing with a lot of bots and stuff right now. Yeah, I mean, it's still it, it's still a great game. I think it still has potential. A lot of people I talked to even playing it, they actually liked it. And they're like, oh, it's a lot like Solaris and stuff. And it, it does. The movement system does echo that. Which is exactly what we at John West want. Another ad. Dang it. What Come is on. this? Why did you sign up for this? <laughs> because that. <laughs> this is great. Oh, look, an eagle. <laughs> John West endure the worst to bring you the best. Uh, sorry about uh, that uh, ad break there, but that ad was pretty funny. Are we getting paid for these? Are we getting paid for these? We're not getting paid anything, no. Come on. Nope. Facebook's taking all the money. They said they're going to take all the money for right. these ads. Exactly. Yep. Oh, because I looked up salmon earlier. Now I'm getting commercial. <laughs> right. No, because you had the new headset that has the eye tracking, mm. and you looked at the salmon can that was in that game, Good and point. now they're trying to sell you whatever Good that salmon point. is. That's probably true. That's exactly what probably happened. I guarantee, it. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. That was my favorite one. <sighs> anyways, anyways. But, so yeah, yeah I, I think it's I think it's a game that has potential. I do too. I think they are losing a lot of player base and momentum because they had a ton. They had a ton of momentum. A lot Before of people it came were out, really yeah. looking forward to this game. Yeah. Um. So I just feel like I'm so limited in my movement all the time. Tony, if I'm not sprinting, I can do more things. But I'm walking at such a slow speed. It's just I don't know. <laughs> Tony Digital, thank you for that super chat. What did he say? Philip McCool. He said. This is all for always keeping it real. You guys are one of the only VR channels that admit when a game sucks. <laughs> no <laughs> one else does that. They act like every game is amazing. <laughs> but yeah, well, I mean, there there are other people that that do too. That yeah, that'll yeah. tell oh, sure. you know when when a game's not good. But I mean, the problem is is that when as as content creators or whatever you want to call them, I mean, we don't really consider ourselves really influencers. Or I mean, we're no. just a couple guys that like to hang out and talk too much. <laughs> but uh, but you know, a lot of people are worried about ruining relationships with developer teams right. and exactly and, or why Facebook do think, or why Oculus do you think or HTC. Will talk to us? Yeah, I mean, and it is it is what it is. But right. uh, we just don't really care. I mean, we buy most. We bought this. We both bought this game. Absolutely. I mean, we we, we didn't. Yes. Yeah, we didn't get this game for free. Nope. We didn't. You know, we never. I mean, it, it is what it is. I mean, I sometimes developers send us keys, keys to give away, whatever else. But most of the time, we're buying these games yep. for ourselves. We're buying these games to give away. The, the giveaway key for this game is a game that we're buying, yep. even though we were like, should we even give this game away? It's kind of rough right now. But we think... In the description. Yeah, description below is a link for that. But we think this game could potentially... It's got good potential. It's got good bones. It's got good graphics. It's got good yeah. good stuff that could potentially make it a good game. But, but we're going to be honest. Right now, I don't like it. Like, I, I, I played this for a little while the day it came out. I tried to hit up Wolf Raza to join me. Right. Uh, he was doing something. He messaged me after I got off playing it. And he said, hey, I'm about to jump in. You want to jump in with me? And I was like, I, I really don't want to play anymore. Like, I'd right. had enough at that point. Like, I didn't I didn't enjoy it. Like, I would rather go back into Population 1 or Contract or something I really enjoy. But I'm going to keep the game. I know a lot of people have returned it, refunded it. I know a lot of people that have done that. I'm going to keep it for now. I, I, I want them to be able to fix the issues. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt that they're going to fix the issues because I think they will. I just don't know how bad that's going to affect them in the long run. I really don't. I know. But I, I think it does have the potential to be good. I just, it's that window, man. It's that yeah, window. That it really is that window. Yeah. So. That's all. I mean, I wouldn't yeah, recommend it right now. I just didn't yeah. enjoy it. I didn't go into it wanting to keep playing it. Yeah. If that makes any I sense. Agree. Yeah. I yeah, agree. Yeah. I like it. But when I stepped in, I'm like, oh, this looks great. Yeah. This looks awesome. And I, I went in blind, right? Yep. I, I'm like, okay, I want to experience this and see it for myself. And I just wasn't, wasn't there. Yeah. So uh, if you, if you do want to try the immersive sprint update, which does help a little bit, uh, you have to go into the in-game menu and select options, controls, sprint, and then check the thing to slide over that says immersive sprint. If you want to try that out. So yeah. that, and if you do win this code too, let us know um, yeah. what you think of it. Yeah. Too. Let us know if yep. you like it or not when, uh, when you win the code and yep. uh, 
Yeah. So, and they are working on another update. I know Wolf Ross is talking about uh, the reload. Uh, they're they're working on that was on the roadmap is the uh, manual reload yeah. system. Which right. I mean, I prefer manual reloads, but I wouldn't be. I'm not going to totally hate on it just because it's a an automatic reload, a button and it reload because of the kind of game it is. But it feels too right. wrong with me with all these guns flipping out of my hands, my hands doing things that they aren't doing. So I'm not totally against automatic reloads i prefer manual reloads but i'm not gonna hate on it just for that i just don't like yeah i mean on a fast-paced game i don't mind it yeah so so here is the roadmap and this roadmap was out before launch you can see the first thing on the roadmap is launch then the immersive sprint update then two-handed aiming because that's another thing your offhand hand doesn't affect the aiming of the gun you can put two hands on the gun and then you can move this hand all around and the gun doesn't move from where it's at which right. is another disconnect it doesn't feel right it's not how physics work uh, manual re- upload is coming. Manual reload, I mean, private lobby, uh, immersive playlist. Then you get what should have been, all of this should have been done before launch. Every single one of yep. those should have been before launch. Yep. Then you get to the fall update, which should have been Release. after launch, is yeah. new map, new mode, new specialist. I know. Yep. And I think, and PD said earlier too, that he thought that they were developing this for PlayStation originally too. Yeah, and that could be, um, but... And that would make sense as well because Solaris was the same thing, you know, trying to do that cross-platform thing with PlayStation. And, and you're coming from PlayStation devs, PSVR right. devs. Right, so I, I, I under, I get why it happened, but I don't understand it. I don't. I mean, when you're developing for a platform, you're releasing a game on a platform, you need to build it for that platform. And that's what I don't get. So. Yeah, and that's what VR Spry got, exact same thing I was thinking. Most of these things on their roadmap should have been done before release. Yep. Uh, I mean, I'm bummed because same thing with Solaris. We were really excited for Solaris to come out. We were. And, and we, I, still we like, I still like that well, game. I actually I like do. Solaris a lot better right. now than I did when it launched. It's way better. They made a lot of improvements, but it's not a game that I play a whole lot anymore. It, it kind of, the launch, I put a bad taste in my mouth. I don't know what it is. I would pick up Solaris over this all day. Yeah. And, and Aspen Darkfire, solid point. Automatic reloads are another flat screen mechanic that has to go away. Yep. So, and I agree. I mean, it's just weird. I, I mean, it's. I it, necessarily it's, agree with that, I guess. I mean,. I yeah, I don't know that it needs to go away, but it needs to be done differently. Like we said, it needs to be uh, more of a, a physics based thing where at least it's the guns are staying on your hands. You know, sure. I mean, you can do a button reload if you want, if that's the kind of quick gameplay you want, where you know you don't have the stress of trying to manually reload your gun. And even Population One, it's not a realistic reload per se. You know, it's kind of an animated reload that the magazine you just have to kind of slide it back right. in there. You Popular. know, so it's not like you're grabbing from your belt. You know, there's different ways right. to do it, but the gun never leaves my hand in Population One. If I'm holding the gun, it's in my hand. I reload it. You know what I mean? Like that's, those are the things that are weird. So you can still do, I think a button press if you want, but you just have to go about it in a way that makes sense in VR and doesn't feel that disconnect. I think that's the the biggest thing. I'm curious to see who actually picked this up, who liked it. Um, (laughs) Actually just let us know in chat because I do want to know who got it, who liked it, who didn't, if you did or didn't. I love, I love chat. So altitude and action said launch should have read beta launch. And fall update should say launch. Exactly. <laughs> Zaylin Maru says, last thing I want to see on a brand new game is a roadmap. Right? Right. What do you need a roadmap for right. if you're just releasing and you should have had all these things done? I mean, That's unless alpha it's... alpha stuff, man. That's yeah, early. unless it's just new maps. You know, stuff like that that makes perfect sense, but... Yeah, you shouldn't be developing still yeah, for a game. there you go. Out. Jason, Fallout does auto-reloads fine. So, yeah, there's a yep. way, I think, to do an sure. auto-reload in VR. I mean, me personally, I'm still always going to like the manual reload because I kind of like the the stress of that and that all that that comes along with having to reload under fire and stuff. But, but I think there's a place for it. If you're using like other like types of guns that aren't, you know, military guns or something, you're using alien, let's call it guns. I mean, they could be a button press anyways. You know what I mean? So yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't dislike it. I don't mind those, but I don't know. So I don't know. Anakaze said, especially since Solaris was dinged for the same, uh, some of the same problems. Exactly. Some, some legit of the same problems. Pretty much. I should have taken a playbook out and, you know, seen what they did wrong and tried to fix that. They want to get it out, man. They want to hit those dates that they had in mind. They want to get the money coming in. To, and I I understand that. I yeah, do. I do. Um, I mean, it's it's hard for a developer. So, I mean, I know we're being really hard on this, but at the same time for a developer, they're under a lot of stress and things that we don't see behind the scenes. So I don't want to completely knock this developer. I know they're a good developer. You know, it's not that they're a bad developer. They're, or they're trying to put something out as a cash grab. I don't think that's it at all. I mean, I think there is a lot of behind the scenes things that happen that you know, it's just, it's probably a lot harder than what we expect. So we got to give them some kind of slack there. But at the same time, I think internal testing is very important. And I know they did internal testing. I know they knew what the issues were before the game came out. I just think my ultimate thing is 
more testing, more VR players in the game before it releases, and push it back if you have to. Yeah. Nobody wants it to get pushed back, but it's going to be better in the long run. Yep. It doesn't cost them anything. Get out 20 free codes, 100 free codes, the beta tester, whatever it takes. Yeah. Know? And I mean, you don't have to let them keep the codes. You know, <sighs> take it back so they have to buy it after they test it. Whatever. Yeah, sure. Fill me up. We're going to go. We're going to. Don't spill it. So, yeah, and Jason said VR is all feeling. I totally agree. So yeah. we're going to see. We're going to keep an eye out. I'm sure I'll be playing it again. Hopefully it's going to get better like Solaris did. I just hope yeah, it yeah. doesn't kill the game. I mean, they're a good dev team. I don't want them to, to not have success. That Ooh, is so trippy. How about that? That That's is fancy. so trippy. That's fancy. <laughs> Yeah, so so we'll see. So what what do you want to get into before the the deep dive discussion of did all you, of these? Did you hit the knob, by the way, on the recorder. Hit the knob, what knob? Turn the big knob just a little bit. Just turn it one this click. One? Yeah. Are we too quiet? No, I don't want it to go idle again. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. <laughs> I don't so, want everyone to lose us. We'll just yeah, keep I'll try to do that every once in a while. on between ourselves. Yeah, normally this is in our normal setup, so things are a little bit different. But uh, anything else you want to talk about before we talk about what Facebook wants to give us seizures and stuff in VR? I don't think so because it's all I can think about. Yeah, I, I, mean, I agree. I've I've watched shows, I've seen you know series and stuff, even about this like the feed, and it drives me crazy. We talked we talked about this years ago. We talked about this back in We've sixteen. Been about this for a while. We we kind of knew this was coming. Kinda- what oh, we're yeah. talking about is the fact that Facebook has now announced that they are going to start testing ads inside of paid VR games coming in the future i think it's supposed to be like around the fall or something like that and this is going to be a little bit of a deeper dive discussion we're going to try to help pay attention to chat and see what they're saying because i am curious to see what everybody's uh opinion is on this and and, uh we were in pop one and we saw this right yeah exactly (laughs) i wanted a cheeseburger tyler wanted some taco bell we went and got taco bell last night (laughs) after playing pop one i'm like i wonder why i'm hungry <laughs> right it's a subliminal <laughs> messages inside pop one ridiculous yep so ridiculous, and this is man. actually a picture that was done by uh jay ham this isn't actually in Who's population it? one yet but it could be coming it's because coming. as far as we understand right now as far as we understand this whole ad system the developer of the game is going to be able to determine if they want ads in their games or not that's as far as we know there's not 100 percent information out there so who's the developer of pop one now big box no who owns Big Box? Oh, oh Facebook bought oh, Big yeah, Box. That exactly. was just the topic we talked about last week. Right. So is Big Box still going to get the ultimate say of if they want ads in their game or not? Or is that going to be Facebook saying, hey, look, this isn't an issue for look, us. We're putting dude, ads in the game. It's right? just like mobile. You can't have ads in something that you pay for. Especially after, after you already can. pay full price for it. And after you've already bought it, you can't add them in later. If it was a new game that had a build into it, you know what you're buying into. You know what's in there, correct? Yeah, I agree. So adding it in after the fact, I feel like is a, I don't, I want to, not a cash grab, or like a, maybe I don't care about the people who play our games or, and, and the funny thing is, is everyone is raging so much about this. They are dropping one star reviews on, on Blast, Blast On. On. Blast On is the and, first game that is getting yes. tested in, in there. So they're blasting them on and, uh, Oculus Store and stuff. It's and crazy Steam, to read I guess, through it. And, you know, there's people on there saying you shouldn't leave reviews that are bad about something. But that is a review of yeah. the game because people don't agree with it. Well, the problem is, is that Resolution Games is the one that makes Blast On ones that makes yep. Demio, a bunch of other games. Yep. They accepted this. They said, okay, yes, you can place ads That's on our right. games and we're okay with it. So the backlash from the community is a little bit warranted in a sense because they bought and paid for that game and now they're going to get in a game with ads in it. And so I can kind of understand they're blasting them in the reviews. I don't I don't know. I mean, it's kind of a, a sticky situation. I don't really know what is right or wrong in that situation. We don't know all of the behind the scenes things. We never will, right. but I, I don't know. Cause I feel bad. I like resolution games. They do a great job. They put out great games, but should they allow game uh, ads in their games that people already bought and paid their hard earned well, money for? I don't so know. Alex makes a good, uh, Alex VR makes a good point is that he says that's why he's never bought cable because there's ads on something you pay for. And I do understand his point but i guess there's different aspects of that because yeah. you're paying for the service of having stuff brought you're to not you paying for cable. each one of those shows you watch you're right. paying for the service provider Correct. and so that would be different right that would be like buying a movie or paying, paying for, for a Hulu movie and having commercials well they do 
Who they has do. commercials yeah. too still? Yeah. No, that one. But it's still a service, though. It's still a service. If, you know, no, if I not. bought a movie, no, and there's ads in the beginning, but you can skip them all. If that ad, if you're watching your movie that you paid 30 bucks for, or whatever it is, Blu-ray disc, and all of a sudden mid-movie, an ad pops right. up and you have to watch it, that's a little bit more fr- maddening to me, I guess, because I I don't know. It's still, know, ads are weird. Ads are a weird marketing thing. It's because it's so... Uh, you know, there's so much psychological stuff that goes into ads and, and what's going to make you listen, what's going to add that jingle into the your head. You know, there's companies. There's so much stuff that so goes much. into this They stuff. pay so much for ads because it's worth so much to them to, just like this image, yeah. subliminally put that in front of you. Right. So they pay so much. There is no um, producer for TVs, no, no company um, studios that are almost going to pass it up once it has such a worth. Yeah. So once VR becomes so big and we're already must be at that point, that it is worth it for people to advertise now in VR. The only problem I have is that if it was in free stuff like Rec Room, you can't cry about that. Like mobile games, you don't download a you download a free one. There's ads yeah. inside. You pay you want for the it one to you get rid of the ads. Yeah. Correct. And even even this population one image, I don't I don't hate this. Like it's a billboard in a game. It's not something that is going to pop up or you know I, I don't hate it. The thing that would make this better in population one is it was free is to play. It was I get free it. To play. Yeah, yeah, it was free to play. Yeah. So I don't absolutely hate the aspect of billboard ads and stuff inside of a big open world game. You know, we've talked about that before. Do it to where it adds to the game. You know, it's on a billboard. If you want to advertise Coke, you know, make the make the pop one so does Coke cans sure. that you're popping to get. Uh, I get that. You know, and that that makes more sense to me because then it's just a part of the game. You don't even really notice it, but. but it's just weird. I don't know. And I don't know exactly how they're going to go about Here, this. But. Here's my biggest problem is, is I, I, we talked about this six months ago, is you have to stop it now or else it will be overtaken. Because if there's no limitations to it now in the beginning, where is it going to go? It's yeah. going to turn into stuff popping up in front of you or waiting on ads or, you know, it's it's yeah, another it's way gonna start, to deliver them. It's right going to start here. somewhere, but it's where it ends that is the problem. You know what I mean? And and here's the it thing. It's simple they're, now, but where's it going to be in six months or a year? Here's the thing, though. There is some benefits to this, too, if you want to look at it from the other side. You know, we don't want to be all negative about all of it because, I mean, everybody looks at it differently. I've heard good aspects of this as well. You know, this is going to give some developers some more income. You know, this is Facebook isn't going to take all the ad revenue. They'll probably take a large majority of it, but this is still going to go back to some developers. This could subsidize the cost. You know, Quest 3 could be $200 because they're making a lot more money off of advertising. Could be $100 because they're making more money off the advertising. It's already at $300. I know, but it's going to subsidize it. It, Yeah, but it's it's the same thing. It's going to keep Oculus Quest headsets and stuff cheap. Is that worth it? I don't know. You you guys tell us. But 249 bucks at Target. Attitude in Action said, uh, thank you for that $10 super chat. It said, I think the people will speak. If the games that do it in games are getting demolished and people stop buying them, it won't keep happening. Correct. We just have to put our foot down now so, while it matters. want to do your part. Anybody watching the show, down in the description is a link to Oculus support. Um, if you really want to direct your gripes to them that is the place to do it yeah Quick and i don't know that's going to do anything but maybe it'll be worth well, it absolutely yeah. it does every voice is at least seen by somebody yeah so if it echoes enough you're going to hear it social media twitter the whole bit i mean it's huge the problem is is facebook is an advertising company i don't know if they're ever going to get away from this this right. is got their end the goal so i don't know how much yeah. fuss everybody raises if it's going to make a change yep. i don't know we'll have to see uh, arthur knox a uh, five dollar super chat that said thank you for that said yep. do we know how they are going to show the ads we do. so in a sense we do we know how they're at least going to start off we don't right. know how it's going to end up right this is in blast on this is the first game they're going to a- offer ads in uh, you can kind of see in their arena it's kind of like a billboard off to the side right not very intrusive. This no. doesn't look too terrible to me, in all honesty. Uh, and you can, and you can report ads. You can say, don't show this ad again if it's something that you think is offensive or whatever it may be. I don't really know. But you can, you I mean, honestly. Take the stats from what I, you like and don't like. And exactly, it pretty much. But uh, yeah, they're <laughs> going to target advertise you a little bit more, I'm sure. But I don't know. Uh, this, like seeing this image here doesn't bother me a crazy amount. I'll probably never really even pay attention to what it says over there on the side. But I think the thing that worries me is where it ultimately ends up. You know, does it start here and then it goes to games that you're getting pop up ads that you have to watch a 10 minute video or not, 10, you know, a couple second video right. before you go on to the next thing. I don't know. That's that's where it could get weird. I don't know where it's going to go. Like, in all honesty, this one right here doesn't bother me. I understand that it doesn't bother me either, but it's the point of how far is it going to extend now? We are going to see it progressively get better and be worth more 
to advertisers and to companies to pay more for better ads, for ones that are more in your yeah. face. And we're getting eye tracking in the next quest, you know, whether that be a Quest Pro or a Quest uh, 3 or whatever. We're going to have eye tracking, which is going to <laughs> very much determine what kind of ads they put in front of you. You yes. know, if they, they show you something and they see you look at it and they see you check that out, like, oh, hmm, he showed some interest in that. I'm going to target more in that direction, mm -hmm. you know, that, and that's where it gets kind of weird. I know. So many sides to this, though. Mad Wookie, we also missed that uh, super exactly. chat. Thank you for that. Uh, Cheers, man. Super chat. So, Good to see you, as always. Been here forever. <sighs> let me see. Let me read some of these things. Uh, Dr. Oolong said, hi, I'm a blast on content creator and I'm coming in to fight for us. So you're yeah. fighting that you don't want ads in blast on or that you think it's okay. I'm not sure if I missed miss something. Yeah, else definitely let us know. Yeah, let mean, us know. Like we, we're, we're okay with it, how it is in blast on now, because it's not yeah. forced. It's still it's worrisome, but it's not like it's, uh, I don't know. I mean, right. I still think the, the problem is, is where it's headed. That's what we're concerned Correct. about mainly. Uh, Chris 9989 said, that's what we'll get for ads. They'll be tasteful or the games will get review bombed. Which could be, I mean, and and what maybe devs won't want to put ads in their games because they don't want those bad reviews. Reviews mean a lot to these devs. Every dev we talked to said, you know, the reviews are a big deal. You know, like tell people to go leave us a review, an honest review, whatever right. it is. You know, those do make a big deal. So they do get noticed. They read those reviews. Uh, CS, yes. uh, I can't keep up with all Cheers. this. Cheers. I know, dude. Chat, you guys uh, are. If they put in ads, make games cheaper or make it like Game Pass. Hulu has two tiers with exactly. ads and without ads. Exactly. Yeah. Good point. I can uh, see that. And I even I'm saw okay somebody said, you know, content creators, YouTubers are pushing ads and and it, it, kind of but at the same time youtubers put in a whole lot of work yes. to put these videos out that you don't get charged for you don't we pay anything right. you don't get you don't pay anything to watch a youtube video a live stream anything else so that's the only way that content creators you know make money and it's a, they put in a lot of work you know we we don't do as much as a lot of content creators and it's a ton of work for us you know what i mean like even the show is a lot of work so and we try to keep the ads limited. Even when we put out a video, YouTube will automatically put about 10 ad breaks in that video. We go right. through and delete them. Like <laughs> maybe have one ad at the beginning and one at the end or something like that. We try to limit it as much as we can. And it's really not that much money for us anyways. Google's making the most amount of money. But, That's what I say anyways. Like why even do it? Uh, so Reckoner VR point. says, ads are an unfortunate necessity in my opinion. The internet didn't have ads right. before, but now a significant proportion of the economy is built on it. It's inevitable, but we but we can be annoyed. It's, it's it's how many eyes are on it. There's more eyes on yeah. stuff on the internet than there are on but TV. But the problem now. is that yeah. I have with it is that you pay for an internet service provider, but you're going to websites, you're getting information, you're watching videos, for the most part, all for free. So that's how those companies make money is through advertising. Sure. But if I'm buying an Oculus Quest and I'm paying a developer to buy their game and they're still advertising to me, that's what makes it weird. Like, is that okay? Is that is that does that make sense? That's the thing that I am having a little bit of trouble wrapping my me head too. around. You know, it's a paid game that I paid my money for and they're still making yeah. me watch the ads and stuff. You know, like you, even YouTube, you can buy a YouTube subscription that doesn't give you I the agree. ads anymore. Sure. Yeah, it's so that's where it gets weird, I think. That's right. like I feel like you could play the free form maybe of blast on or free demo yeah. with ads in it and stuff like that. But then when you have the paid one, I feel like I don't know, man. Yeah. I don't know. It's tough. I get it. it. Or if the game was cheap, like super cheap, and they were making ad revenue for that. And I know it's tough right yeah, now because our developers don't have a lot of income because of depending the on of the people. dev. Yeah, like, I mean, some so, games blow yeah. up and they make a ton of money. I'm sure Population One, Beat Saber. You know, some of those Absolutely. games have made a lot of money, but there's other ones that don't make a lot of money. So yeah, it's it's a weird conversation, and it is because we also don't know all of the future plans. We don't know all of the details behind the scenes. And everybody you talk to, there's going to be some that absolutely hates it and says, no, we got to stop this. And there's going to be somebody else that says, it's not that bad. What's the big deal? I've seen both ends. But I've it's, seen all, both it's ends. all over now. Like people who use Facebook now, you don't pay attention to all the ads. You just yeah. scroll past them. So at a point, you kind of become numb to it you or do. used to but it. But it's subliminal. You know I, mean? I mean, that's the whole right. point of advertising. But Facebook right. is free. Facebook is a free service. You're not paying to have a Facebook account. Right, right, right. So I, know. I don't know. So know. Anakaze said slippery slope incoming. <laughs> uh, Swift detecting said need to stop it. Uh, yeah, I know. It's crazy. And you have to yeah, voice so, your opinion if you are that passionate yeah. one way or the other. So Wild Ox Studios, Jason says drop in is free to play. And I was honestly thinking of it in game marketing that is not gameplay disruptive. But it's sure. a free to play game. Drop in is a free to play game on Steam. So that's where I like the aspect of things like free to play. But you buy stuff inside of the game because then the people that are truly passionate are the ones spending money and a lot of money at that. You know, when you see yeah. stuff like Fortnite, 
there's people spending thousands of dollars on one single game because yeah. they play it they're so much. The and think of the hours people put in the games and stuff. Yeah. Um, and they're putting money into it. So there's other ways to do it. Right. And, and this is something I thought of asking Dark Farm a little higher up in chat. I'm trying to catch up with some of the stuff. Uh, he said there's there's a great opportunity for modders making ad blockers for VR games. And I, that's the one thing I thought of. Like, how long is it going to take Guy Godin, to, you know, developer of virtual desktop, does some amazing things to make a universal ad blocker for uh, right. for your Oculus Quest headset? You know, is that going to be a thing that we start seeing? Is that going to be something that happens? Another thing I'm concerned about is that right now, ads, as far as we know, are up to the developers if yeah, they want in ads them. in it or not. Right. But is it going to eventually become a day where the ad based system is just part of the operating system of the quest and the devs don't get to say anymore? You know what I mean? That it's just inherent in the quest. It, it puts it in there. Right. Yeah. That is the other thing that I'm worried about. I would rather have it in the developer's hands if they want it in their game, sure. if they want to price their game really low or free and allow ads. That's so how long do you think till you go on your quest and you're scrolling through the store and there's ads for stuff on there. How long till you think we see that? Because that's what's coming next. Say that again. Sorry, I was reading. <laughs> so when you're browsing in the store through the menus, you know, they already Oculus, do that. not ads, not for other things, not for stuff outside. Right, of it. right, right. They place their stuff on home and stuff yeah, like that. But even that. this one, even this ad inside here isn't for a VR game. It's for like a food place. Right. Or something. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, when are we going to see ads for other things? That's the weird thing, too. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't it's know. Coming, man. I don't know. I, I don't know. know. What did Dr. Rulong say? All right. Um, Lost Zone has taken so much hate because it's the only game that was actually announced. And that Oculus, Oculus Post is Post. doing that. Yeah, I right, mean, if you exactly. go through and read the reviews right now on Blast On on the Oculus Store, uh, we read through a bunch of them last night, and there is a ton of one-star reviews now because yeah. of the hate that they're getting from that, uh, as well as some other people saying, hey, it's not a big deal. So I don't know. I mean, the, the developer obviously has to be taking it into consideration all of these reviews that they're getting and what that's going to do to their game. Maybe make them I mean, rethink this decision. I don't know. Maybe Oculus is has a good relationship with Resolution Games, and they're like, hey, we're going to do this. You don't really have as much choice as you think. Yeah. I don't know. PD said the Quest 2 just got a price drop. I knew there was one on Target for $249. It was on it was Target for $250. We were going to go buy another one, and then yeah, it went back up. I don't, maybe so. they're doing it across the board. Are there places doing it? Let's I mean, know. I'm telling you, ads are yeah. going to subsidize the, the price of future quests, I really yeah. think. So uh, well, let me scroll back down and catch up with <laughs> Look at chat. all these. Dude, chat, you guys are <sighs> I know. So, cool. Arthur, I wish I could read everyone. I really do. Uh, Arthur Knox, $5 Super Chat, said, if yeah, injected sure. them like a football game, I don't care. But if it's a commercial, then I'd want that to take away then I'd want that to take away from a game or right. it's immersion billboard or product placement. Yeah. So I think that there is going to be a better way to do this and a worse way to do this in a I sense. Know. And hopefully it's a balance that is up to the developers too, at that point. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what I feel like other developers are almost going to look at this now too, because of what has happened to blast on that. Do they want to sign up for this because of what surrounds it yeah. and, and the image that it partakes? And I think that's why people are giving it low reviews and maybe not as directed in the game because it isn't directed at gameplay. It's directed at the, the path that the developer has taken to sign right, up for it. Right, right. You know what I mean? And uh, Wolf Raza said, Facebook will buy out as many games as they can to avoid giving up too much to devs as well, which we've seen them Absolutely. do. They bought up a lot of studios. Yep. So uh, they love the Bill Paradise Decay. One. That's what's coming. Uh, I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That could be interesting too, but uh, Paradise Decay said the scariest thing is when Facebook go brain interfaces, they could hide subliminal adverts in your brain. Totally could. Totally could. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's going to be a whole new direction advertising takes yeah, probably to tell you the truth. That. That's a scary thought. Like all of a sudden they flipped the switch because Taco Bell just wanted a new ad, but it's not an ad. It just makes you and I hungry. Yeah. And then we go to Taco Bell. <laughs> like that, that's uh, right? trippy, man. That's Attitude in action. $5 super chat. Thank you. Said ads sure. in VR for content creation is scary. If there's a billboard in your world, and it's an ad for dog toys. Your viewers know you have or want a dog. True. Right. I mean, yeah, it's. Yeah. But then if they're directed ads, like say we're playing pop one, my ads are going to be different from your ads, too. Oh, yeah. How do we say that? Hey, like, go climb the uh, Taco right. Bell sign. And you're like, yeah. what Taco Bell sign? I don't see Taco Bell. I see Walmart. Yeah, Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Random. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It'll It'll be interesting. Uh, but or something said, do you guys play PC VR? If so, how long do you boot up PC VR and get an ad or even Steam Home or Oculus Home and just have ads in your home VR chat? So we do play PS PC VR. Yep. Uh, we've been playing PC VR since 2016. Love it. We were playing Wonder PC that. VR last time. Oh, yeah, PC, true. PC VR. Sure. Yeah. Uh, 
so yeah, I mean, that could happen. You know, you're in your home environment, whatever that may be, and you're getting ads inside of there too, which is probably coming because Oculus is in full control of that. You know, you don't have to get any kind of approval from the developer. You do whatever you, they do whatever they want. I think somebody needs to make a game that's like ad destroyer and you're like shooting ads like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That could happen. That could happen. So oh. Reckoner said, I'm against ads, but I think the pragmatic approach has to say that they serve a purpose to make VR more financially viable. And I, I, like agreed. we said, there's two sides to this story for like this topic for sure. Yep. You know, like I do think that some good things could come out of ads in VR, but do we really want ads in VR? Uh, probably not. You know I, what I, I mean? I think for me, I don't want the pop up. I don't want yeah, the I don't intrusive. Want I don't want the stuff that takes away. I like actually what I've said since 2016, we got into PC VR. I brought this up that I feel like product placement inside is, the game, a physical inside object. the game yeah. is better than actually billboards because you get yeah. to experience that and feel it and yeah. see it and use it. Give me that Mountain Dew can in VR, you know, give me that Chalupa taco that I get to eat for some health in a game. You know, that yep. stuff makes Chicken more shot. sense to me. Uh, so we missed a couple uh, attitude and action said building on that. What if you see ads for something XXX rated? Hopefully. I mean, so I don't Just use like Facebook websites, much. Though, man. Same thing. Yeah, I don't use Facebook much, but they don't advertise like triple X stuff on there. Right. Yeah. Like, so well, I wouldn't think that they would. I, I guess mean, maybe it depends on what you search I for. Think, like, I don't know. Grandma's account got hacked in those stuff. Posts all well, yeah, over, but that's yeah. different. <laughs> yeah, that's different. Yeah. Jay Ham said spicy. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, who knows? Who knows what the future can hold, to be honest with you. Wild Ox Studios. Uh, Jason, Jason. Thank you for that five dollar super chat. He said, if it's forced at the operating system level and not a choice of the dev and ends up some small piece of a piece of et cetera, then I will not dev for that platform. Right. So, and that's going to be a personal choice. A lot of development teams are going to have to take as well. I so, because some see it as income or more money, but then they don't really see a lot of it because it's not them making the money from yeah. the advertising. And they have you know? to take into, effect, into account what the reviews are going to be on a game that they allow advertising to, because we're seeing that with last on, they're getting blasted for uh, what they're doing. I, I, think, I don't know. I think we need to do a poll. Can you do a poll for I us? I don't know how to do a poll. You still, in the bottom left, see the little poll thingy? Oh, yeah. This little thing? Yeah. That's hit it. that. Yep. Straight up poll. Yeah. There you go. go now ahead. type. Oh, you right type. there. Take this. Oh, jeez. You can't type. <laughs> this guy. This guy. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting because I definitely feel like there are both sides to this that some people are okay with it, some people aren't okay with it. And even us, we can see the benefits kind of one way and the negatives the other way. So... I don't know. It's, right. it's a weird conversation, but we like to have these conversations with the community uh, and see what they think. All right. I'm just a general. I know everyone's going to say we need stuff in between there, um, but this is going to be as general as we can get. I'm just curious to see what you guys think. You closed it. Didn't you? Oh, wait. Just give a sec. Uh, give a sec. Take a sec. Okay. On. Yeah. So I don't know. We're going to see how this goes. Let me see if I missed any of my points that I put in my notes because I, I was thinking about this quite a bit. I'm okay if a game is free. And I like that concept yeah. a little bit too because – we need more games, I think, that are free for people that are getting headsets or free to play with purchases inside because it is, you know, it's a small investment to buy an actual headset to do all this stuff. So people come in with limited budgets and don't want to spend money on games. So I feel like free games that have advertising in it is great for people to pick up awesome games um, for, for nothing. But, you know, dealing with the advertising, I think that's OK. But huh. Jason made a good statement. He said we should have put a depends. That's uh, what I mean. Everyone yeah, would say to because everyone has a different opinion. Yeah, that's so true. I know. Yeah, I know. that's but true. But that's what I mean. So, I can't have ten different. So we were talking stories. a little bit about this on our Discord, and uh, Dan from X Real Games, he is the developer of uh, uh, Zero Caliber, and he was in there and he commented, and I, I said, as a developer, I'm really curious to know if you will be able to choose the ads or not. This is before I knew. This is before I talked to some people. Uh, he said, we weren't among the chosen ones, so this is the first time I'm hearing about it. But based on uh, Ryan Engel's tweet, it's up to the devs whether they like to opt in or not. And he said, can't wait to get in touch with Red Bull so we can make Red Bull weapon skins in zero caliber for sponsor bucks. So, I mean, hey. That, totally understand that. Yeah, I mean, that seems to make more sense to me. Right. You know, if you want to get a Red Bull skin, but it shouldn't be forced either. You should be allowed to choose right. if you want to put that Red Bull skin on your gun, which I'm sure it would be in that game. Right. But but yeah, that, some of that kind of stuff I'm more okay with than yep. other things. But yep. the things I'm scared of is pop-up ads. That's the one I'm most scared of. I, I don't know. I, I definitely do not want to see pop-up ads. 9.6 feet level fast tracks and fast tracks well, pick up only from Tyco. Every pack required, sold separately. 
but that's the problem. <laughs> like you see one and, and you're, you're like, like oh, oh man, man, I want that. Like I, I, I have that. I actually had that RC. Like that's yeah. the best spec. And that's awesome. And like, you know, it knew I had that. So it popped it up. But those that's that fine line, man. Like all of a sudden you're watching something or doing something in VR and then boom. Ads. So I, I get it. And that's what we were trying to show you through the show, too. It's like, you know, you're consuming this and watching the show and then all of a sudden. Ad pops yeah. Up. And it was just to be funny. Obviously, we were yeah, just yeah. Going to be silly because we thought it was hilarious and we laughed. But <laughs> but but yeah, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see where this goes. And there's it's a pretty deep conversation. And as we can see in the chat, they're pretty. I feel like most people, even in the poll, you know, we have 75 percent saying our ads good for VR. They're saying no, 75 percent, 25 percent saying yes. So it's still split to a degree, you know, what we think about this. And as it stands, I think the best thing to do is probably to contact Oculus support, voice your opinions, you know, tell them, hey, I'm okay with ads. If you do it this way, you know, as long as you don't go the route of pop up ads, if you do, we're out, you know, whatever it is. Uh, voice your opinion to them. Is it going to make a difference? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Paul P. Jr. said ad sprays would be okay. Uh, is he talking about like the spray paint in Population Pop 1? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. So, uh, And this is a Pretty Cave cool. Digger Oculus code up here. Hopefully somebody grabbed that. Yeah. And uh, hopefully somebody got down the rabbit hole yeah. earlier. Turn that knob again. I don't want to shut off. Mm-mm. Okay, I don't want to either. Nobody wants to listen to us. I know. Heck? I was so crazy how we just lost sound. Do you need coffee, man? No, I'm so good. Sorry, I'm talking I've too drank much. I've this whole pot. I'm talking so oh. much that I haven't even been drinking as much as I normally do. But uh, And we had some beforehand. So, yeah. But And if you're watching the show afterwards, if you weren't part of live chat, please let us know in the comments yes. uh, what your opinions are on this as well and what you think about this. Uh, Lincoln Clay said, I think Boy. devs will be more prone to put ads on their games if it gets them off side quests or App Lab and onto the official store. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Is right, that like going to... Like a... Yeah, is that going to make your game more... Uh, attractive to Oculus to put on the official store? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And it's it, it's inevitable. I mean, come on. We know it's coming, and we're never going to be able to stop that train. Like the amount of money once yeah. VR becomes bigger and bigger and more accessible, and more people have it, yeah. the more people will pay to advertise on there. So. It's coming. And you see Reddit blowing up with the uh, <laughs> the full on Ready Player One stuff because uh, Ready Player One, a big part of that, you know, IOI wanted to put as many ads in VR as they could to, you know, just they needed to know the limit of how many ads they could put in your face before you started having seizures and stuff like that. So watching that movie back then, I remember thinking like, man, that is what Facebook is going to become in the future. And that sometimes things kind of come true. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's hard to say exactly the route they're going to take, but it is concerning. It's It's in the hands of Facebook. We're good. Yeah, we have nothing to worry about, right? Yeah, it is concerning. It's concerning to uh, to at least prob- to probably everybody, whether either side of the fence you're on, ultimately in the end, what it's going to look like. But yeah. uh, Jason's right. Money talks, BS walks. So. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Um, the, uh, um, <laughs> who was it? Uh, oh, BR Spry guy is trying to pick our scene apart. He said the bottom of the coffee pot must be green. Um, no, it's stainless and it does a weird thing when it gets oh, reflection yeah. in the lights and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, it is weird. So it we got to have him backstage. That's magic coffee. Man. Magic That's coffee. That's magic coffee. Stuff. Yeah, especially so, when I can, I can do, do. Wait, I can hand it to you. Do you want to drink some? No. <laughs> so magical. You're so ridiculous. Anyways, <laughs> Sparhawk says ads and loading scenes would not be in that intrusive. Not be that intrusive. Only problem I have is with that. Is that going to make the loading screen a little bit slower? You know, is that going to slow down loading well, time? It's just a. Yeah, it's just not because it's a power thing. I'm talking about are they going to slow down the loading scenes because they want you to look at the full ad a little bit longer. Well, if they pay like more, sure. Yeah, so I don't know. But it <sighs> is true. I mean, sometimes loading screens suck because they're just black. So maybe putting an image up in there. But I don't know. That's weird. The whole advertising world is a weird, weird world, I think. But I know. That's how it goes. Yeah, up. Jason said ads are worthless without players. Remember that, guys. Right. Good point. Yeah. 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 So Ray Delatorre says Facebook is already there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I know. You yeah. could, but how long have we had banners on websites? I mean, gosh, I can't. Yeah. Back to whatever Windows 90, whatever version I had, 94, I forget what it was. I mean, they go all the way back to that early stuff. Yeah. So Seriously. Arthur Knox, thank you again for another super chat. He said, what if it's a VR product that pops up? Right. Uh, but that, but that, would that, they allow that even? So are they, if HTC comes out, forever, so if HTC has the Vive yeah. Focus 
4 or whatever, whatever it is that is going to be consumer based. Play with it. Yeah, that's going to be competing with Oculus. Is Oculus going to let them advertise to you and you're playing on an Oculus that's Quest? Are they going to, yeah, are they going to let that pop up? I don't know. But like my thing is like, what if VR covers stuff? Or Mammoth stuff, but you know, gun stocks in there, and I could pick it up and like snap it That's to my controllers. Like, how yeah. sick would that be? You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm and more I'm like, about this that. Give me cool. the item, I can physically pull up and check it out. You can't do that. I mean, it's, it opens up all, honestly a whole other can of worms because advertising is probably going to change in the future because advertising for a long time has all been based on a flat screen yeah. for the most part, whether Images. it's a TV, a computer monitor, a billboard in real life. You know, now marketing departments have to have somebody that can do Blender and build these things in 3D. Yeah. Um, to, it's weird because they can put it in now and it's like that's the kind of stuff i wouldn't mind i wouldn't mind as yeah. much man so o. wesley said is ad revenue shared between the devs and facebook at this point in time it is don't know the split or anything like right. that i'm sure facebook is getting more of the cut but uh they they are ad sharing with the developers that put ads on their game so it is going to help some small dev yeah. teams uh financially it, it will as long as people still want to play in, uh Trell says uh, 3D ads might be fun to watch. That would yeah. be awesome. Well, like, even in like... Uh, what if you were watching it flat and then instead of like holograms. seeing it, you were like, boom, shot into the ad. Now you're in a room with like, like you're in Taco Bell yeah. and you're standing there in like in line. We started off ordering, saying... And I'm like, oh, this is cool. We like, started <laughs> off with how bad ads are. Now it's starting to get into discussion of how cool ads be can be. <laughs> you could have mini games inside Taco Bell on how oh, much geez. can you order. Uh, come on how much can you eat 30 seconds <laughs> <laughs> just tacos and you pile them in your mouth hey, it's where it's gonna be yeah. dude. like come on that's what i mean it's a very deep conversation because it, it, ultimately there are some really cool things they could do with it like we're yeah. talking about right now but ultimately do you want ads in vr at the same time oh, it free game? depends sure yeah free game and it depends how they do it but yeah yep. I, I don't know i still Let's feel see. like it needs to go that mobile route like free games ads paid games no yeah. Yep. And Susan Cottrell says she almost forgot to hit that like button. That okay. would have been devastating. <laughs> okay, we're here. We're here for you guys, man. <laughs> but yeah, uh, but you're talking about something, and I was thinking of uh, uh, lo-fi. Being in lo-fi, okay. and you're flying around in that ship, and there's like hologram images on yeah, top dude. of the uh, on top of the buildings, like dancing around. It's like a little like a. Uh, uh, like an Asian Chinese kind of a, like the dragon thing that they, I don't know what it was, but it made me think of that, but it was like dancing around on top yeah. of the uh, thing. And it, it was like, that kind of stuff could be kind of cool depending on what it is, but right. I don't know. I think it's up to the developer to implement it correctly. Yeah. So what if Jason said, what if the ad was jumping this Tesla truck? Right. Kind of cool. My cyber truck. Yeah. yeah. Going down the road. Yeah. So I don't know. I know. Very weird conversation i know and i don't even know no, how i truly feel either. about it deep down i don't like it i don't like it in paid games that i already paid for and now you're gonna throw ads in my face that feels wrong that's to me. the only problem that yeah. feels wrong to me I and agree. and advertising is just weird but blast on is getting an update yes uh and i don't know how this whole thing is gonna affect the blast on update and what people are gonna feel about this but it's getting a single player campaign mode uh it is right now it's only a multiplayer game it's essentially a dual game if you haven't played it you're sure. on these platforms you got somebody directly across from you and you're using these weapons and, and you're dodging and ducking the things that are coming in to shoot it's actually kind of fun uh but the new single player campaign is is going to be you know there's gonna be boss fights uh they're adding a new arena uh and they also mentioned that you get to see a new area of scrapper street which it kind of shows you a pretty cool thing you see in the trailer yeah. and you're on this street and there's it's kind of like a futuristic cyberpunk kind of a world yeah. right here but it doesn't tell you like i don't know if you're going to be able to explore this i don't know if this is just like a cut scene i don't think so i'm not real sure it doesn't really say it just says you get to see a new area called scrapper street right. so but i think that's awesome because yeah. we need well look I, at that's why i see the billboards yeah I oh, know. Look at the signs. sure yep. oh, okay now i get it right. they made scrapper street for more ad revenue <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's what i didn't it's think fun. about that honestly before i could no. do what it is i'm not sure no but, but i think any single player in a multiplayer is amazing just like we say in pop one because it gives you a place to practice Two yeah. without playing other people, or if That's you can't true. find a match, or there's lots of reasons That's you know true. in between too. But so this update comes out uh pretty soon, six twenty one, oh, uh, awesome. June twenty first. So that's coming out real soon. It's gonna be interesting with all this negative press they're getting right now, right before this update and stuff. What this is gonna do, but sometimes. Sure. Negative press can be good press too, right? Sure. Sometimes press, that yeah. gets people talking about your game. Is anybody really talking about Blast On before Blast On got announced as being the one that's going to have advertising? Exactly. Not really. Not, right. not it really. Kind of fell off for yeah, a little so bit. Yeah. So now everybody's yeah. talking about it. it. Everybody's it looking it up on the Oculus Store, wanting to see the reviews, everything else. So I mean, I don't know. That's why advertising is weird because even bad advertising can be good advertising sure, sometimes. Sure. I know. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. But. Man, that was a rough start to today's show. Sorry we lost uh, audio for a little while. We were a little bit late, but man, it's always fun to do Dude, this. And doing it in cool. person 
is awesome. Let's cheers. We have we're well, over there. Like, yeah, over here. Cheers me over here. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice we don't normally get to do that on no, our show because we we're don't. 500 miles away. But yeah. yeah, it does feel pretty cool to actually be able to uh, hang out. Um, yeah, it's, it's rare that we get to, so it's nice. Meow, meow. The gamer cat said this should push more people to Sony. Which mm -hmm. man, that may I mean PSVR two is going to be a big deal anyways. We keep saying that we really do feel that way, and that could help them out in yeah. the long run. I don't see Sony doing this ad stuff in their games. Could happen too. I don't know. Maybe if this is wildly successful, everybody wants in on it. I don't know. But I don't think because we don't see it on you know console gaming, we don't yeah. see ads in console gaming either. Yeah. So why is it now coming to? I mean VR. It's no different than console gaming, in my opinion. I mean I can't think. Are there any flat games on? steam or anywhere that really have ads in it uh, like, is, or is it because this is they this have is cowabunga well yes yeah, stop it i was this talking is cowabunga but the turtles for your 16-bit system are oh. cowabunga holy cow right. <laughs> i now this say i want to play is cowabingo but the turtles for super nes and sega genesis are nope cowabunga dude <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? That I, I don't even know this. now. That's the problem. I just know I want to play Ninja though. Turtles. I used to love Ninja Turtles. I still love Ninja Turtles. Anyway, what were you I saying? I don't I really know, don't know, actually. Where was I? I really don't know. But an ad wouldn't be any good if it didn't interrupt what you were saying. That's the problem. That's why I don't want... <laughs> oh, yeah. If there's no games with actual ads in it. And that all these... There are some. Car no. games. Car racing games. Technically, they have ads. They have sponsors yeah, and okay, stuff on the cars. True. They have like billboards. The yeah, technically, I, that's ads. Yeah, true. But yeah, they're racing theme most part. And they don't even buy. You don't even notice it. Just no, like you, because you because you, that's what you see it in makes the real sense world. In that world, yeah. right? Yeah. So I understand it there. I just feel like we have a lot of developers coming over from mobile platform, and they're so used to pushing these ads through that I feel like that's where that marketing yeah. is coming from is the mobile market not the console or PC developers. Yeah. So. I honestly don't think this is the last time we'll be talking about this because as new information comes out, I'm sure we'll be having some more discussion about what this is going to look like, what it's starting to look like. Right. What's the latest game that got ads in your face? I right. don't know. But uh, I did want to mention, talking about car games, Forza Horizon 5 oh. looks absolutely I incredible. We wanted to grab it. that trailer. That's the one I forgot to put in here. Oh, why? I, that was one of my games. So that and GTA 5, the two biggest games that I want in VR are yeah. so bad watching that uh, forza horizon 5, 4 trailer look, oh look, my goodness i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest everybody i'm gonna play it we're gonna put you in the flat box of shame but i'm, I'm gonna, I'm play, gonna it play it too. It. i'm not I, gonna lie i'm I gonna play to. it too i have to it looks and so good luckily it comes out after i will hopefully have my yaw it comes yeah. out shortly after we were so. talking about how we're gonna oh. have to strap a flat screen monitor yes. on the y'all to play it oh, is it looks so good halo, if i can get that in vr halo forza forza horizon i mean there's specifically. tons but man and, Forza uh, Horizon has always been because I used to love yeah, Forza Horizon so on the Xbox Series, but that is my. Go I am not a sim racer at heart, but if I can free roam on a complete island, customize the car, go out street racing with m online multiplayer people, that oh, it is so good. I wish Shoot. I would do anything just about to get that game in VR. Yep, that that oh, looks. I, so I good. watched that trailer so many times back to back to back to back to back yeah i'm like and how many tissues did you go through from the tears uh, rolling out of your eyes goosebumps, man. Goosebumps. I goosebumps. it like, looks so good it did does. you see the razors and stuff in there the uh, side so by side speed oh i used to love just taking like this so beat up junk car i would give it like this rusty paint job and swap in this like ridiculous engine and just go out oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this you would always car. go i know it's a civic yeah. hatch it was always a civic hatch no i had a i had a dotson at one point in time oh, but it had like so an good. ls swap turbo something i don't remember it's or i had I had a Jeep Willys I made crazy fast. You couldn't even keep it on the road. It was like all over the place. That sounds fun to me. Like, Dude, that's yeah, so fun. Do, like, you had a, yeah. you had an old school, what was it? What year was that? Integra. Um, oh, in real life? Yeah, oh, man. That was when I was in high school. Yeah. Dude, that a, was amazing. That we was the first car I ever built. That was like a 300 and some horsepower uh, Honda back in the day. That great, was cool. Man. And then I got into Mustangs. And then I was into the so V8 thing. Stuff, and I said, man. forget these Hondas. But they're yeah. all fun. I don't care what it is. Like they're all fun. Much. Yeah. Did you ever do anything with that picture on the motorcycle last night? That no, video? I never did. Yeah, I was on Tyler's motorcycle cool. last night, starting it up and revving it up. I was like, man, this is awesome. So Tonica said, y'all, 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 man. Talking about the y'all. Yes. I can't wait. Yes. So, yeah. Super dope. And that was my point. It's like I told Sean last night, my debate was, am I going to be investing in a new headset this year or in the next year from now? 
No, you don't have to. Yeah, and I don't know of any headset. I really headsets are going to be free. There's going to be so much ad ads in those things. You don't have to pay for VR headsets anymore. Gosh, hate them, hate them <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to end this because I can't even see the end stream. I know, right down okay. there, but it's okay. We'll, be we'll get it. Time. But we'll anyways, it. I think that's pretty much it. I'll probably be hanging out with Tyler's uh, for a little bit longer today. We might play something. I don't know what our plans are. Uh, and then uh, I got some plans with the wife's family. Please, and no stuff more ads after this. So. No more ads, dude. I can't take the ads. No, I don't think we have any more. I think we're all added out. Exactly. Me, Did we really we have, have another one? Gray <laughs> but of course. But of course. Uh, our commercial's great. Gray Poupon, one of life's finer pleasures. This. <laughs> I love this that every single ad thing. was like four thirds aspect ratio, old school. Like. Yeah, exactly. It's so great. Oh. It's so great. But anyways. Horrible. Yes. Need for Speed VR. Awesome. Yeah. Aaron Summers would also. Yeah, that would be that'd awesome. Be cool. So we only need uh, VR support from turn 10. Yeah. Hopefully these big time devs, big time name games will be coming. I I can't wait. Forza know, Horizon man. 4 in VR would be a dream come true. Yeah. I probably would barely pay for Population One anymore after that, Dude, especially any, with the yaw and a good wheel. Ugh. Any game I can build my own car in, I will 100 yeah. percent buy. Yeah, clue, Just for that. Clue this dad gamer. <laughs> we mentioned that earlier. Ads in VR is like Ready Player One. How much space can we take up before causing seizures? Right. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, Facebook is changing their name to IOI. I have a feeling. So. Watch the feed on Amazon. I'm telling you, that's where it's going. If you're curious about, it's like embedded. Um, it's like the Neuralink kind of stuff, but oh, more embedded. Show, yeah. And they just like start popping up like in their eyesight when the servers go bad or something or they want to push it out. Luke Rogi called me out. He said, no Amiga advertisement. I might have to take my subscription back. Uh, I was actually trying to find a good Amiga commercial that I was going to show. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, we were going to. And, and I got sidetracked. Yeah, movie. I didn't find one that was real funny. Yeah. But, and we were trying to keep them short too. We didn't want you guys to leave because yep. of stupid ads. But I know. Uh, yeah, and Spry Guy told me that I need to steal your shaver so that you can't shave in your beard. So you almost. Have beard. We almost did it. 10K subs and it'll happen. Mine's coming out soon. I almost cut it off on the show. We talked about it maybe that's uh uh what's what is that uh my fans or something what are those websites called we need to make one of those and they can watch me shave my beard off Ooh. yeah oh kinky stuff yeah that's, that's past <laughs> me man i don't know uh anyways anyways we gotta get off of here let yeah, us know if you're playing something we might end up in population one again maybe larson hots will put out another update today and maybe we'll want to try it give it another shot still holding out hope it'll make it good but sign up for the gleam giveaway for larson knots in the description down below <laughs> James, Whatever. today's takeaway. Ads are good and Larks and Knots is top notch. <laughs> <laughs> right. Pretty much sums it up. Uh, I love chat. I seriously, I, know, right? I wish we could just slow it down and just hit and read chat the whole time. I know. It's so I know. awesome. Right I, I read now. back through it a lot of times afterwards. And I just, I, there's so much good stuff that I miss. And yep. It's just so good. You still have the poll going too, by the way. Oh, I don't know how to end that. Just well, so it only on. changed 1%. Just it went up 76%. On. 76% say no. Okay. Yep. My bad. Oh, I don't do the polls. You do those. Anyways. Thank you. We'll probably hop in something. Watch our Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord, yes. uh, hop on there. Join up. We, we often set up stuff, play stuff on Maybe there, we'll so. post some pictures of this craziness going on here with the audio oh, recorder. This is scary I'm looking. Die again. My potato salad that I was trying to eat real quick right before we went live because I didn't have any breakfast. Shoot, all the DSLRs, the honey here for the coffee, all the cameras, oh, man, I put... extra microphones. Oh, I forgot we were all cup. over. Jay's, Jay's two, two cents, cents mug. Yeah, Way awesome. too much going good stuff, on. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Yep. We got to get out of here. Yep, we're out of here. We'll see you guys back here next week, as always. Or see you in VR. Come join us on the Discord and find out where we're playing. Thanks again, everybody. Yep. Thanks for all them super chats and everything. Love you all. If you did you buy guys. me a coffee, we didn't have that one in, so I apologize that one didn't pop up. Yes. We forgot about that. Anyways. Right Oculus. Yep, see ya. Later, guys. Oh, there's no music. There's no music. <laughs>